Right, hello. Today, we're going to be looking at compliant material. Now, before then, um, we want to look at learning at St. Gregory, the Great School. All our lessons follow four key questions. Uh, one is, what are we learning? Uh, what are we going to be learning? How have we been shown the new learning? What activities are we going to complete to show we understand the learning? And then how will we demonstrate we have learned it? So the objective is appreciate how compliant material can be used in an applique and how to use applique to improve a product's appearance. Your title is using compliant material within textiles. Keywords are compli compliant material, applique, appearance, and hands. Skills needed will be um, needle thread coordination. So how you look at the needle and then how you can actually pass the thread through it and then hand sewing. Now look at a glossary of words, uh, which is our keywords. Applique is a decorative technique whereby one material is sewn on top of another material. And then um, said in another way, it will be a design which will be sewn on another background. And it's a French word, um, which means to apply. The second word is appearance. Appearance is the way that someone or something looks. Example, she checked her appearance in the mirror. Compliant material. A compliant material, uh, they are easy to shape and need very little force to change their shapes. These are materials such as fabric, paper, and then card. The last word is enhance. To enhance means to intensify, increase, or further improve the quality, value, or extent of something. So to use this on an example, uh, sorry, in a sentence, uh, you would say the saleswoman told me the blue dress would enhance my lovely blue eyes. You will demonstrate you have learned the work or been successful by understanding how to cut a fabric or paper as a compliant material to make a template. And then you are able to understand how to use an applique technique. Now, these are examples of how applique is used on everyday textile products. So over here on this t-shirt, there is a design which has been sewn on this background. And then we've got um, other designs here, quite intricate designs, floral designs, which has been cut out and then they've been sewn onto another background. Now, this is a step by step method of making applique. So, from the previous slide, applique, I'm going to it again, is a decorative technique whereby one material is sewn on top of another. So it could be a design which is sewn on another background. So the first thing you need to know is draw or trace your shape design onto paper. Cut it out to make a paper template. Then you pin the paper template onto the felt fabric. You cut around the paper template so you can have a felt shape. You unpin the paper template from the felt shape. Now you position the felt shape, which you've actually made. Uh, you position that, and that will be your design, of course, onto another larger fabric. It could be a t-shirt, it could be a table cover or whichever, but you place this design over it. And then you stitch around um, using, uh, you can do hand sewing, or you can use the sewing machine uh, carefully uh, to go around this. 
Now, these will be the materials and equipment needed for your applique. We've got design to make a template, got fabric, which you can choose from, pins to secure your template, and then uh, fabric scissors and paper scissors to cut around the shape. And then when you've cut out, you would um, you, you will see, uh, you'll find your shape cut out neatly in this red heart shape, an example of what you would um, see. Now we're gonna see a demonstration of how to set the sewing machine up, so come back. Right, today we're gonna be looking at complement material. And when we say complement material, we're looking at a material that you should be able to cut shape or score. So we got something like paper, which is complement, uh, complement sorry. You should be able to, like this is paper, you should be able to use a scissors and you'll be able to cut it. You should be able to fold it or you should be able to score it. And that makes it complement. We've got fabric that also um, can be complement. You can fold the fabric, you can cut through the fabric and you can use it to actually do different things you want to do in design and technology. So I'm going to use fabric I've chosen to actually demonstrate a technique called applique. Um, as, our, as, our, um, as a way of showing you how to use a complement material. So in doing applique, that, uh, that technique is a French word, which is applying. So applique, you're applying something over another thing. And what it is, is you've got a design, you've got a shape, and then once that design is done, you place that design over another diagram. And that's what we call applique. Now to actually make an applique, there are steps that you've got to go through. First of all, you need to draw your shape or you need to actually get um, a pattern. So I've got a couple of shapes and then designs here, which um, if you want to do it, you might have to find um, a design suitable. Once you've got your design, you might want to use paper scissors, cut around your shape and then get a paper version of your design. The paper version of your design is what we call a template. You can carefully around it and you get the shape. So, so if this is the shape I've actually cut out. The next step is for me to place this on a compliant fabric, compliant material, sorry, which uh, is um, this felt I've chosen, F-E-L-T, felt. So I place this shape or template on the fabric, which is my fault. Then I will use a pin, a couple of pins to hold it firmly. Um, because once I'm start to cut it, it has to be in the right place so then I can get the exact shape I'm looking for. So a couple of things we do, you make sure you don't use too many pins. A few pins we do to help your pattern, your, your shape to stay in place. Once it's in place, you get your pair of scissors and you should be able to cut around your shape to get a fabric shape of the pattern or the template you actually made earlier. And remember that these two materials are all complement. Right, so when I, once I've cut around it, I have to take my pins off. And then I've got my fabric shape. With my fabric shape, now this is the design I intend to do. I've got to find another background and I can choose any of these backgrounds here and I can place that on. So in case you've got a couple of designs that you want to overlap it, then you should be able to cut all of them out and you can overlap it as you want it. If you probably want to put smaller patterns or smaller shapes to overlay or overlap it. You are, you're welcome to actually do that to actually make it uh, more interesting. So from here, I'm gonna use a pin to hold it firmly in place. And once it's in place, I should be able to use uh, the sewing machine right here. I should be able to use the sewing machine. I remember we've actually looked at the sewing machine and how to set it up. So you might want to choose the pattern that you want to choose uh, to uh, do the stitching and then you might want to choose the length. 
I would normally use a zigzag to give it a decorative edge. And then I want to choose a zigzag with a two length stitch. Then I will stitch the shape or the pattern um, to secure it on the background. So that will be um, part, uh, that would be, sorry, that would be the design uh, which I would have uh, finished. Now, if you look at it like you are designing a toy and then you want to actually um, do different um, design on the toy, you can use this technique and you can cut all the shapes separately and you can pin them carefully there. Then on the sewing machine, you can stitch around the edges neatly. And once it's all stitched around the edges neatly, then you can actually finish off uh, with the toy with other bits that has to go in.